Okay, let's do this. This is a quick unboxing of those on Big Dipper, which is probably one of the last batches made because I've ordered very late in December, on 27th December, I believe. And I also qualified for the Christmas event, which was sleeping hall hat. And so there should be a sleeping hall hat in normal yellow, which is quite bad because Dozone and Oshoto have changed their uh, palettes quite abruptly and I'm not quite sure I'll be getting a full doll in the same yellow skin tone as I've ordered this hat. So basically, usually I do photo unpacking, so but this time I've decided to do a video one. Uh, the order came from Alice Collections. It was a quite long wait and I also ordered the free air mail shipping so I had to wait for about one more month till I get it here in Latvia. So, let's see, here's the box, both sides. Um, no huge dents or anything, so let's try to unpack it. Find where's the place to cut it open. Let's see, sides. Put you carefully. Okay. Is it open? Please be open. Okay. This side. Sorry. And the other side. And I believe the top is the middle. Yep, top middle. So the box goes open. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, that's what we have here. Lots of silly. Okay, my iPad had this very silly hiccup with the available storage. So, take two. I've actually already unwrapped all of the bubble wrap, but Let's do it again for the sake of the video. What we have here is the Hull Hot Head, the small package, Alice Collections Gift Spongy. We always put it in there. The certificates. And the big dipper. Okay, I don't need the box. Let's start with the certificates. Two of them from Dozone. This one is for Big Dipper, this guy here, and number two is for the head, the event head. Um, yeah. The sleeping hall, lovely lady. In my case it's a lady though this one is actually both both male and female sculpt of theirs. So lots and lots of bubble wrap. I already cut the wrap, so I'm just unwrapping. And the second layer, Alice Collections do their best to pack your dolls very neatly and very securely. Face mask. Yeah, and here's the hand. The little beautiful sleeping hole. Oh, I really love this color. It's like a sun kissed something. And it's a great pity for me that they've changed the palette because the new yellow seems to be very light and I'm not sure whether I, I like it and if I actually can get a body for an actual the basic hat for this doll. Now what we have here is the hat cap, two magnets, uh, doe zone, it's inside, not outside, and the number over here, uh, D81112. And eyes, seem to be glass eyes actually, yeah, maybe, I don't know. And I cannot tell really which color it is. I'll have to remove them. It's like grayish or blue, maybe? I don't know. I'll have to remove them to see because, oh, because you can't really see it through the slits of the eyes. Which color is it? Okay, and now for the big guy. 
the Big Dipper. Lots and lots of pop bubble wrap. This one is heart shaped bubbles. Here, I might need it later. Okay. Another layer of bubble wrap. And another one. Yay! Like a matryoshka. And this lovely bag they come with. So the Chinese of those don't come in these really lovely soft bags. This one is actually a little bit different than the other two I have because this is some kind of soft synthetic material on top. And the other ones I have for my Eudora and for baby Raphael are, I don't know, not so soft. These are cool, just to take your tinies wherever you want to. Um, now we have lots and lots of toilet paper soft one, so that the, the body blushing doesn't get damaged. Okay, ah, can I We have it. And here you have it. We have it. And I have it. Finally, my little Big Dipper is here. Lovely. Hey. Very beautiful lashes. I really like the eye color. It's like very, very deep and vibrant pink. Um, I'll be changing the position of the eyes if I can because it's looking sideways right now. Uh, you have the horns with very beautiful blushing. They're jointed, going all the ways. Tiny cute ears, tiny cute nails. The hat, flower, it's a hat cap, it has one magnet in it, elastic for the horns and the eyes with eye putty and the S hook that strings the whole body. I have no freaking idea how do you restring this thing. So the hat is moving to all positions. Actually quite a nice range of movements. Then you have a joint in the neck, it doesn't really do much. You can tilt forward a little bit and stand straight. And you cannot really tilt it to the side because, well, because of its shape. Um, the legs all are jointed top joint and the knee joint. Like don't have no joints down here. I think Eudora had more of them, definitely. Because Eudora had this uh, mid-body joint. If I'm not mistaken, I'm gonna be... I'm gonna compare them later. Uh, you have this beautiful star-shaped something-something on its back. Very cute little jointed tail and it's, it's an S hook also, but very tightly strung. So the hind legs, uh, this joints, and yeah, this ones. Okay, change the positions like this. Yay, cute hooves. Stand on your own. Let's see, let's see. Okay. Yeah, easily. My door is actually not that much of a good stander. Not like this little guy, girl in my case. Um, it's a friend for my Eudora, which is a guy named Topaz. Um, yeah, so here it is, the Big Dipper. I actually love it. It's not much of a... BJD doll for playing with it because it's not that good with its mobility and joints and everything but it's simply there for the cuteness. Okay, so two together. Here's my order. Hey! Thank you for watching.